Hello, what is up everybody? Welcome to a Destiny 2 video. Now in this Destiny 2 video, I'm going to be going over everything we already know about Nightfalls in Destiny 2. Uh, so obviously it's not going to be changing too much from Destiny 1, but there is a few things that are changing and I will be going over them in this video as well as just everything we can see in this little screenshot here from the uh, gameplay... Re no, is it from the... Yeah, the gameplay, gameplay reveal uh, event. Uh, now, first off, I want to go over the uh, select mode section or segment, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we see we have multiple options here for normal, uh, being you can be a seeker or a guide. Guide is a host, seeker is somebody that's looking for a lobby. That's all to do with the clan system, and that is uh, probably something that I'm going to go over in a separate video. Uh, if you guys want to see a video on clans be sure to comment down below and you know uh, let me know about that because uh, I'm probably going to do it regardless so stick around if you want to see that. Uh, but anyway as you see here uh, we have two difficulties normal and heroic that's nothing too different from what we've seen in Destiny 1. Heroic's obviously going to be the end game level content uh, what's going to give you the best rewards. Normal is going to be something that is easier, uh, but it is something you can do at an earlier point in the game. Uh, but what is interesting is Heroic does not have Seeker or Guide options. So is Heroic a invite only type thing or is it a solo only thing? Um, it'd be interesting if it is a solo thing because we have not seen anything like that in Destiny 1. And uh, I know there is you know some solo players out there and the majority of uh, destiny players are probably solo players themselves or at least like to play themselves occasionally uh, like me uh, so having a heroic uh, end game activity for so strictly for solo players is something that uh, would be interesting to see in destiny 2 but i'm sure it would piss a lot of people off uh, because it's a lot different from the traditional nightfall experience anyway on that uh, point actually, let's get into the next thing. Now the next little segment we see here is uh, where we can see a little bit of information, modifiers, etc. But then what sticks out to me is Nightfall Pass Required. What the hell is this? Uh, I know it says 10 remaining there but it's a test account, they could have just added them in. Uh, this has got me slightly concerned because it can be multiple things. It could be something that we get one a week and then we get uh, the get them as a reward uh, so we would get them through multiple activities uh, probably PvE activities that would make sense get nightfall passes it would give us the option to run through the nightfall and get another exotic uh, at the end of the, the nightfall uh, what's also really nice about uh, this little segment uh, which is unrelated to the whole pass thing I'll get back to that is that you can see the time required you know with one player it's going to take 45 minutes, with two players it'll probably take say like 35, uh, with three players it'll probably say like 25. Uh, that's really nice because then people know what they're getting themselves into so they have no excuses for saying, oh I didn't know it was going to take this long, I'm outie. Uh, so yeah, that's something that I'm excited to see in Destiny 2 because a lot of people seem to go into activities without knowing how long they actually take and end up bailing halfway through which is infinitely annoying let's just say that uh, but there's also no checkpoints uh, which means that this is going to be a traditional year one type uh, nightfall experience where if you die you are either orbited or you get flung right back to the start of the mission uh, I really like this it, brings back the challenge of the nightfall um, you know year two year three nightfalls uh, they were just not challenging you wipe at the boss who cares you're just going to spawn right next to where you were and you know you, you you're just at the boss again and it's no big deal uh, but in year one you die at the boss and you're in orbit and uh, everybody uh, wants to rip each other's dicks off uh, so yeah i'm excited to get back into that type of thing but let's get back onto the nightfall pass type thing uh, as I said before, it could just be a reward thing. We get one a week, you know, one run a week. Uh, and then we can get some from rewards for the carries we want to do, which is something I personally enjoyed doing in year one uh, and would enjoy doing again, uh, which is 
why I'm so concerned about this whole Nightfall Pass thing. Uh, but the other thing that they could be is the whole one a week, uh, and then we have to buy the rest through microtransactions, uh, similar to the whole Treasure of Ages or Treasure of Triumphs or what, whatever the hell uh, type of treasures there was in Destiny 2. You know, you get one a week for free or three a week for free sometimes, and then the rest you have to buy with your silver. Uh, I do not want to see them introduce microtransactions uh, that limit activities. I, I really don't want to see that happen, so let's not just dwell on that too much. Uh, but just keep in mind that that could be a thing and it would be a major turn off for a lot of people, including myself. But last of all, let's go over the two modifiers we have here. We have momentum and uh, time gate uh, anomalies. Uh, so, momentum is obviously something to do with movement, so I speculate that it's probably going to be your abilities and grenades charge quicker while sprinting, or, uh, you know, you do extra damage while moving. Uh, that would make sense, you know. Uh, and for the last one, I speculate that it's obviously something to do with the effects, you know, suggesting it's time-related and they're the only time-related thing in the whole Destiny universe. Uh, you know, it makes sense. And anomalies, that probably means that there's going to be, uh, you know, additional Vex spawns, poss possibly. Um, that's what I think it's going to be, personally. If you guys uh, seem to have a different idea about it, pit down below. Uh, I'll be interested to read some. Uh, and except from that, that's all that we have here uh, right now. So, um... I'm excited to go through the trailers, go through the reveal event and see what else I can find there uh, and make videos on. So uh, if you guys want to see more of this type of stuff, uh, please stick around and uh, subscribe below. You know, If you like this video, give it a like and if you are looking forward to Destiny 2, uh, I will be streaming a lot of Destiny 2 when it comes uh, on September 8th and I will also stream the beta whenever that comes out, uh, possibly 17th of July, but that's... Uh, that's only a speculation at this point. Uh, so if you want, guys want, are interested in jumping into streams, I have a Twitch or you can find me uh, streaming on YouTube as well. I stream on both at the same time. So either or, uh, you can find me. So either subscribe down below or check out my Twitch channel. There should be a link below, I think, uh, if I remember. And except from that, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.